On this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, I hunt solo, mano y mano, one on one. It's me against the quail. I'm the pointing dog and I'm the flushing dog. Don't miss this. Quail and pheasant, some of the prettiest. Look at these feathers. Too late on that. No dirty. I loaded up my bird bag with shells, and I loaded up my trusty Brazilian Stoger 12-gauge shotgun. It's time to hunt. Let's go shoot some birds. I'm right here. Let's do it. Look at that point. What you got, Dom? Ringo. Good shot. Come on, Ringo, fetch here. Come, in, come here, Red. <laughs> come on, Red. Ringo, fetch here. Yep, get in there, dude. Good shot, look at that. This is what we came for. L, look in here. L. Yep. Get ready. I'm ready. No, metal arcs. Right here? Right there, bro. Watch out. Ground, ground. Ringo! Heel, heel, heel. L. Reloaded. Bird up, front of you. Good shot. Thank you. Good shot. Yep. Look at this bird. Look how pretty these birds are. Well, as you saw, hunting with dogs is totally awesome. Now, I'm going to do it old school. I'm going to be the flushing dog. Let's go. WideOpenSportsman.com Have you subscribed to the Wide Open? If you haven't, you better get at it. Subscribe today. Roger that. Thanks for staying with us. Today we're quail hunting in South Texas. Let's get back to the action. In this scenario, I like to keep my gun under my arm so I don't have much movement to get a shot gone. I think we'll go along this fence line here and work our way to the back of the property. Let's do it. It's really dense right up ahead. And we'll come right along the fence, not in this little road. That was a single right there. We're getting some action. I like this thick stuff. Let's go. Right there. <laughs> he was two inches, three inches above the grass. He's down. <sighs> Kowalski. On this episode of Wide Open Outdoors, it's quail. Look at the feathers on this thing. Look at those feathers. I mean, is that awesome or what? Look at those colors. All right, 
As you can see, this is the hard way to do it. Hoofing it through the brush, trying to flush them up. The shots are fast, but it is fun, big time. Quail on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. Single shot. <sighs> this is awesome. I want to show you guys something. Fred, get a shot of this bird. He's blending into his background perfectly. I can't even see him. Now, of course, he's a little bit in the shade. But look how that piece of wasted cactus and his head are modeling basically the same colors. But that's him right here. This is our bird right here, and he's just blending in, blending into his cover. That's how they avoid predators. And guess what? Coyotes, bobcats, all kinds of animals will hunt quail. They are excellent eating. Beautiful bird. This thick cover and this little berm, this little hill where the main barbed wire fence is, is where we've been getting most of our birds. Let's go. As I'm moving through this cover, I like to keep the gun in my pocket, right up under here, under the pocket of my arm, so I don't have a whole lot of movement to get the shot. That's the tip of the day. Well, it's getting a little bit later in the day. We're pushing about 11 o'clock and these quail have kind of moved from the fields off over to the fence lines and the thick brush along the fence lines. Makes it a little tougher. We're gonna to work right in the dense cover, just like this right here, right now. That bird had cut right across and then straight through the trees. Looks like we got another female, beautiful. Hunting quail on this segment, the hard way, with no dogs. People ask me from time to time, what's your favorite color, Dave? Well, it's camouflage. And I'm not kidding. I've got several different types of camo patterns. I just think they are too cool. This is Predator. It does blend into the environment. Also, you gotta have your war paint. And war paint is something that you can use to put green and black and brown marks and spots on your face to blend in. So at the end of the day, find a scenario like this where you can kind of blend in, get somebody to take your picture, and then kind of take a look at how you sort of appear in this environment. And do that different times of the day and do it different times of the year. You want to kind of match what you've got going on with the environment that you're going to be hunting. That's the tip of the day. Now let's look at camo number two. This is camo pattern number two. This is Mark Anthony's bow hunter. What we've got here is a right-handed bow hunter setup. So I have no material here for my draw, for my right-handed draw. Also, no material here. But I tell you what, this is totally cool. You could just be laying on the ground and no one would even know you're there. Well, all right. This is camel pattern number three. This is a redhead style, redhead brand ghillie suit. It's a really lightweight material. You can roll it up and pack it in a gallon Ziploc bag. 
It's just really, really the brown color. They kind of have a green and a brown. So this is the brown and it's redhead. Even comes with one of these little hoodie things. So if you like to wear this instead of the hood on the jacket, you can get stealth. This is option number four. Well, this is gonna round out our camo segment. This is Cedar Creek camo. I've got the jersey with the short sleeve shirt over it, and then I've got the camo pants. They just got on the market, 2015. This is Cedar Creek camo. Choose camo to fit the conditions that you're hunting, or you may just wanna go out on the town with some nice jeans and look good in my favorite color, camo. WideOpenSportsman.com Duck hunting, deer hunting, dove hunting, inland lakes, South Texas, Texas shorelines, coyotes, big duck, big bucks, foxes, heel wing duck, bobcats. <laughs> Just get you some. Come to the call. Get you some. Wide open. Subscribe today. Roger that. If you've just joined us, Fred, my cameraman, and I are hunting quail in Divine, Texas. Let's get back to it. We're hunting a ranch, only 60 acres, just outside of Divine, Texas. It's got perfect cover for quail, and it's also open and ideal to hunt on foot. You can see we have one foot of grass and cactus patches all over the place and just a few low trees. It's perfect for quail hunting. With closer observation of this little area here where that covey just flushed out of, you can see the two little nests, the little areas that they have burrowed away. There's no grass, it's just dirt. You can even see their little footprints right there. So they like it in some area that's thick and they have easy access for escape up and out in different directions. Too cool. As you cover territory, use a zigzag or serpentine pattern to work the areas. You must realize that these birds can run. You can get them running for cover on the ground, and you can collect them in a bigger group and force them into flight. It's all technique. I'm working for these birds. You can actually hear my heart pounding with the wireless mic that's in my shirt. This is a workout. Awesome. awesome. This Beautiful is bird. over the top cool. I've heard some people tell me these are the most beautiful birds of all game birds. Quail and pheasant, some of the prettiest. Look at these feathers.
another pretty male. Getting hot, last day of the season, too cool. Today's tip of the day, when you're in the moment and ready to move from safe to fire on your rifle, move the safety with a heavy finger and you'll reduce the audible click. Remember, stealth is the key. The quail hunting is on fire in South Texas. This is a mono e mono one-on-one -on -one quail hunt. Thanks for staying with us. Well, when you're fishing, you want the right bottom type to hold bait fish and game fish. It's no different when you're hunting. You want to make sure that the terrain you're hunting has the right bottom type for the animals. We're hunting quail. So let's take a look. This is actually textbook perfect. We've got grassy green for them to forage and feed through. We've got dead debris for them to burrow under and hide from predators. And then we also have pieces like this one that it just plain allows them to hide and make sure that the predators as they move through the area can't really see them. So they've got a place to feed, a place to burrow, and some place to hide behind. The cactus helps a lot too. This textbook perfect for quail hunting. That's one. Here's the other right here. Doubles? Doubles a wide open outdoors. What are you talking about? Another double. Too cool. Look at the feathers flying by. This is on fire. I love bird hunting. And Fred's been wanting to get this smoke. So get it, Freddy. A double. You deserve it, Super Dave. <laughs> Drop that first bird real close. He's bound to be right in here. And he is. And the second bird is somewhere in this proximity. Bird number one, birdie birdie. Oh, look at him. He's laying in the little nest. I made a little wide open outdoor nest for him right here. Look at him, another little male. Just a beautiful little bird. Awesome. Great day hunting on the hoof today for the mighty quail in South Texas. I'm the flushing dog today. <laughs>
It's been good. Real good. Well, I got my workout today on Wide Open Outdoor Adventures because this segment I was on foot hunting quail without dogs. My little Brazilian Stoger here, she weighs about uh, 8 pounds and she's basically a 12 gauge shotgun, but right now she weighs 45 pounds, or at least it feels like it does. Was it worth it? You better bet it was worth it. It was totally awesome. It was mono e mono, me against the birds. And of course, Fred, my main cameraman, was right there with me. Well, I think it's time to take a rest. <laughs>